Hi, Roy Williams with Airframe Components, and welcome back to episode four of our new building construction project. Now, here we are on the 11th of December, 2019. We just got our occupancy permit yesterday, so we are ready to begin moving fixtures and tooling into our new building. Uh, as you can see by the different shots here, we've completed work on the restrooms, the break room, the office area, the tooling area, so uh, we're all ready to start moving uh, that equipment in here as well. Uh, if you look at all the different uh, details that we have here on the new building, you can see the uh, stair rails uh, custom built here with our logo on those, doors, partition doors and the restrooms with our logo on those, uh, just little detail uh, things that we want to include in this building as long as we're going through the motions of uh, new construction. With the move to this new building, we're trying to accomplish a lot of efficiency in manufacturing. Of course, as you know, uh, aircraft repair is a lot of labor intensive uh, movements. So how do we make our production more efficient? How do we provide a better product and a better service to our customers by consolidating all of our equipment and people in one area? Uh, this building is a exercise in trying to improve efficiencies. The details that we are including in this building are just little finishing touches uh, just to personalize this building for our company. One of the details that was included in this building was the in-floor heating. A lot of extra expense and time went into installing this system, but again, I think this will be a very efficient way of heating this building uh, throughout the winter months. Uh, other details that we've incorporated into this uh, uh, building, motion sensors on all the lights, there are no light switches in the building, all LED lighting, skylights, uh, just different uh, items that will make for a more efficient, more comfortable working environment. Details that we've included in this building include ceramic tile, uh, backsplashes for the restroom areas, the kitchen areas, custom cabinets in the kitchen break room area, uh, just different things to make this a more comfortable work environment for the employees resulting in the end product of a better product for our customers. Also above the office and restroom areas uh, we have 5,500 square feet of additional storage space. Uh, at a later date we're going to show you all the shelving that will be included in that upstairs storage area. One of the additional features that will be included in this new building is the front office area. All of our other buildings that we've had before have never had a formal entryway, a formal uh, approach, formal parking area. So part of this new building project is a formal office area on the front of the building. This will be 4,000 square feet of office area, including entryways, accounting offices, administrative offices, conference rooms. So this will be a uh, addition now this will not be done right now. This will probably be completed later in the springtime. Uh, the facade on the front of the building is uh, in the process of being installed at this moment. Uh, as you can see, we have the airfoil shaped entryway, something to tie in uh, the airframe uh, motif into the whole building. As you can see, with the uh, cutting of the wall and uh, opening up the wall between the two buildings, uh, we are very excited about starting to move the equipment over uh, with the issuance of the occupancy permit. We are ready to start uh, bringing over uh, pieces of equipment as soon as we can. With cold weather approaching, we're making one last final push to get all of our concrete pouring done outside. We have one last approach to pour, so we're trying to get all the catch basins in for water retention, and uh, this will finalize all of our outdoor projects for the winter so now we can do all the final work inside the building. That's all for today's episode. Stay tuned for future episodes on the progress of our new building. Uh, by the time we have our next video, we will have equipment in here and we should begin production.